Hi. Hello. Hi. Before we get into this, I just want to give a quick little disclaimer. You do not have to pass in order to be valid, whether or not you identify as male or somewhere along the transmasculine spectrum. So in case you haven't guessed, today's video is sponsored by Underwear Expert. Do you enjoy quality underwear perfectly fit to your size and body? Do you enjoy mysterious black surprising packages that are discreetly mailed to your house every month? Do you also like exciting socks delivered with your underwear every month? Well then, you should go on down to the link in my description and sign up for Underwear Expert and use my code Aaron Pride to get 55% off your first box. And if you're feeling festive, they also have Pride themed underwear as seen here. And they also have this cool new feature where you could go onto their Instagram or onto their website and pick the underwear from the pictures. So if you don't like any of the selection they gave you, you could be like, I saw a cool pair of underwear on your Instagram and I want those ones. You could do that now. So that's beautiful. Thanks Underwear Expert. Appreciate you. Now, as you could probably tell from the title of this video, today we're talking about clothing tips to alleviate bottom dysphoria for trans masculine individuals. This is a part two. My part one will be in the description of this video. In my part one, I talk about all like clothing for top half dysphoria. A lot of people ask me to make a bottom half dysphoria a leaving clothing tips video. So here it is. <laughs> I'm really glad that Underwear Expert was willing to sponsor me on this video because a huge part of how my outfits fit when it comes to like the lower half of my body really depends on the underwear I'm wearing and whether or not they're appropriately sized. So I'll get into that more later, but the reason I'm happy that Underwear Expert decided that they would sponsor this video is because through their subscription service, instead of it being like small, medium, large, extra large, it goes according to your waist size measurements. So you literally measure your waist, you give them your size, and then they send the right pair according to your body size every month. It's not based on like the arbitrary small, medium, large things. So it's been a game changer for me in terms of like having underwear that fit me properly every time. And it's really helped me feel more confident in a lot of my outfits. So anyway. We'll get into that right now, actually. So they actually sent me a brand new box for this video. So I'm gonna open this box and maybe I'll use these underwear in my explanations for the day. Cool, 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 oh, so cool. Sorry about that, my cat just decided to seize this opportunity to attack my plants because he hates everything that I love that isn't him. Anyway. <laughs> okay, I know we're here to talk about underwear, but like, look at these little birds. <laughs> All right, cool, so we have a jock strap. I order these for packing, usually. We have another jock strap, and we have these boxers. Oh, you're back. Okay, so I'm wearing the boxers that I just received in my Underwear Expert package. So the reason why I put so much emphasis on wearing boxers that are appropriately sized is because when the waistband is too tight, it pulls at the sides. And if it doesn't bother you, it's totally cool. But for me, when the waistband is too tight and this happens, it changes the way that my shirts fall on me and it makes me really dysphoric. Whereas when the waistband is the right size, my shirts tend to just fall straighter and give me a straighter shape. That's why underwear are the first step for me because no matter how well my pants fit me, it could be that there are pants that usually you're not comfortable with that you're comfortable wearing once you have the right pair of underwear on. So, okay, we'll get to the more complicated pants later, but for example, pants that I really like wearing are the ones like this. These pants have the little elastic at the bottom and are kind of low in the crotch. They're not really drop crotch. I don't think I would call them that, but they go kind of low and they get, uh, they taper as they go down the leg. So I'm gonna try these on for you just to show you what I mean. But because these are an elastic band at the top, there is some underwear that I won't feel comfortable wearing these pants with because it'll completely change the way that the pants fit me. So as you could see, I don't have a problem wearing these pants with these underwear because given that the underwear aren't cutting into my sides, it doesn't matter that the elastic band of the pants put a little bit of pressure because the underwear waistband isn't adding pressure. If you have two things that are tight on at once, then it doubles the amount of pressure on the waist and you're more likely to have that little dip in the sides. Which again, if it doesn't bother you, totally cool. Totally up to you. It's just something that makes me personally feel a little dysphoric. But aside from that, these type of pants that have the elastic on top and the elastic on the leg tends to be a pretty good fit for me in general. Now, not all pants like this are going to fit me well because usually they're sized with like small, medium, large. It doesn't go with like waist size and then leg size like some pants do that are like, let's say 32 around and then like 34 leg. Mostly these pants will be sized kind of the way that jogging pants are sized, so small, medium, large. Uh, but these are a pretty thin, stretchy material, and the legs on these aren't made aren't made ginormous. So I was able to buy 
a pair of these pants and get them in the right size without the legs being enormous. There are plenty of times that I'll have to choose between having a really tight waistband with loose legs or having well-fitting legs with a way too tight waistband. Honestly, it's not always about the cut of the pants because again, I've tried other pants like this that didn't fit me well and it's just kind of trial and error. Oftentimes it just comes down to trying the pants on and seeing if those ones work for you and not automatically eliminating them because others haven't in the past. I usually have my luck at stores like H&M or Amnesia. Basically stores that carry clothes for teenage boys or like not youth, but like not adult yet. Um, I got these ones at Amnesia or like Urban Planet, I think. Now let's get into more traditional pants, okay? Okay, sorry, I just, I had to get somewhere to sit that isn't all the way back there so that I don't have to scream, but also so that I don't have to bend down because like my EDSS cannot handle that. So <laughs> anyway, now we're gonna move on to more traditional pants, I guess, or traditional pant sizing. Men's pants, typically, if they are anything other than like jogging pants or sports pants, will be sized according to waist size measurement and then leg size. So like length of leg and width of your hips. So what I've noticed is that not all 32s or 34s or 36s will fit the exact same way. And that's because oftentimes it depends on the material of the pants. I have here two black jean-ish pants. These are 36 waist and 34 leg. Usually 34 or 32 is the shortest leg size that I could find. But then I went to a different store. I went to Amnesia instead of H&M and I found these pants and these are 34 waist and 30 leg. I cannot express to you the difference it makes to have pants that have the right leg length. Wearing pants with the wrong leg length, is just, it completely changes the shape of your body. I'm gonna show you that right now. So when I wear my 34 waist, 30 leg pants, I tend to look taller, <laughs> like in pictures and stuff like that. I notice that I'm like, hey, I look not like someone who stole pants from their dad's closet. Whereas when I wear these, the ones that are 36 around the waist, which surprisingly fits tighter, and that are 34 long on the leg, um, I just, I don't feel comfortable. I find that I look shorter. I find that my whole body shape kind of changes. Anyway, I'm going to demonstrate for you. Okay, so it might be a little hard to tell from there, but these are the size 36 pants, which is weird because they are kind of tight on my waist with the size 34 leg. Um, again, I don't know if it really shows on camera. I can stand up here and not break my face. But see, they just don't fit right, like around the knee, around the leg. They're just really bunched up. And that makes my leg look shorter because I'm clearly wearing pants that are too long. And also too tight, even though they're 36. Like what, why, why, why? Be gone, demon pants. Now we're gonna put on these babies. And now these are the pants that are 34 waist and 30 leg. So as you can see, they just, they fit better. I find, I mean, maybe you're not zoomed out enough to tell, but I find that they just make me look taller. I like the way that they proportion my body. I don't have an excess amount of bunching around the knees or around the feet. They just fit my body better. And I find that they just tend to make me look longer because of the fact that they're not all bunched up on the legs so it doesn't look like I'm wearing giant pants. And surprisingly enough, these fit a lot better around the waist. They don't squeeze so that makes it that when I pull my shirt down, it falls a lot straighter, which makes me feel better about myself and about my outfit. I mean, I still have my rolls. I'm still a chubby guy. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, okay, child screaming outside my apartment. I still have my rules, you know, I'm still a chubby guy that's not gonna go away because of the pants I'm wearing, but it helps my clothes actually fit like the size of my body and not fit like wherever my clothes are squeezing my body. You get what I'm saying? So as tedious as it may be to have to hunt for pants that have the right pant leg length, it really is worth it to measure your body, measure your legs, measure your waist, so that you know what measurement the pants should be. So maybe you could try online shopping, maybe you could try like the youth section, who knows? You could try like straight cut women's pants, I have women's pants, women's pants, and they fit me just fine. Nobody could really tell that they're women's pants because they're like the boyfriend cut, which is just literally men's pants in women's sizes. That's that's what boyfriend cut means. So little life hack there for you. If you are not too dysphoric to do so, I suggest maybe checking the women's aisle for boyfriend cut pants because again, it's just men's cut 
pants tailored to women's sizes. So, women's sizes. Mm. Do you want pants? Do you want underwear? Do you just want to be in the video? Thank you. Okay, next we are going to do sports shorts. I'm not gonna get too much into shorts in this video because the video is already very long, so maybe I'll make a part three where I specifically talk about like summer attire. But I'm gonna go over like the basics of like shorts and sports pants in this part of the video where I show these. Cool. When wearing shorts, whether they're like jogging pants shorts, sports shorts, or like jean shorts, or even a bathing suit, the thing you're gonna wanna look for is the way that the pockets are made. What I mean by that is some pants will have pockets that kind of like stick out at the sides, um, and that'll really change your body shape. At least for me, it changes my body shape a lot and changes the way that I feel about my outfit. And I found some shorts like these that always give me a really straight shape. And it's mostly due to the pockets, but also kind of due to the way that the material is made. Again, you're gonna wanna keep in mind the waistband to leg length ratio when you're getting shorts. You don't want shorts that are way, way too long because then even if the waist size fits properly, it does tend to shorten you and kind of widen you out when you're wearing these really loose shorts that go way down. Unless you're into that kind of look, that's totally, completely fine. I'm just saying, if you're wondering why when you wear shorts you get that look, and if that look makes you dysphoric, much like it does for me, then this is the solution. Try to get shorter shorts, shorts that aren't as big on the pant leg, and shorts that, when they're not as big on the pant leg, don't have teeny tiny waistbands. The shorts I'm showing you right now are all elastic waistbands. Again, I'm very particular about elastic waistbands because oftentimes they'll do this. It'll be this size, but it's an elastic, and it'll be like, this is a large, and then to make it actually fit you, it's meant to squeeze you and be really tight. I don't like that. I don't, why, please, I don't, I don't want, thank you, though. So when I get elastic waistbands, I make sure that they fit comfortably. Not that they're falling off, but not that they're squeezing me either, just comfortably. So let me show you. Also, just while I'm changing, uh, I also like to wear boxers that are a bit longer on the leg like this instead of the ones that are just slightly onto the thigh because my thighs tend to rub together and chafe and that's not comfortable. So just a little life hack. I much prefer boxer briefs as opposed to trunks. Trunks tend to be shorter. They tend to be like about this high and for me when I walk those just end up like right up here and it's super uncomfy so just letting you know if chafing is an issue for you when you're wearing shorts in the summer like it is for me um boxer briefs are the way to go and uh, on the underwear expert website you could actually choose if you want them to send you all boxer briefs if you want boxer briefs and trunks if you want boxer briefs and trunks and jock straps you just you get to you get to select they have a wide variety they won't just send you whatever they'll send you what you want so I just Wanted to let you know that. So these are basketball shorts. I absolutely hate basketball shorts because the pockets do this. No matter how much you try and smooth them out, the pockets stick out like that and that just kind of changes my hip shape. Basketball shorts, unless you have a really straight cut waist, I find the pockets just tend to flare out and it just doesn't look so great. They also tend to be just a bit longer and baggier, which again, makes me feel kind of short, but I mean, that's that's just, that's a personal preference for me. Whereas pants like these, although this specific pair is a little tight for me, these here have flatter pockets. They don't flare out at the sides. So they tend to give you a straighter shape. They don't do that like pear shaped thing like the other shorts do. I don't know if these would count as basketball shorts. The inside has like this netting, almost like a bathing suit. I guess it would be kind of like running shorts. Anyway, it's just when it comes to pocket cut, especially in like, like those sports fabrics, you're gonna want a pocket that doesn't super stick out at the sides. A pocket that will flatten with your leg. Oh. Anyway, uh, I think the last thing left is shoes. I'm gonna go over really quickly. I try to stick to uh, unisex brands because uh, they make the exact same shoe in like men's and women's. So it doesn't end up being an issue for me because I could get the same shoe in any size. So that's awesome. So I think that's about it for like casual clothes. I haven't gone over formal clothes like button ups and suits and all that stuff. I could do that if you are interested in it. Please let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, thank you again to Underwear Expert for sponsoring this video and sending me super cool underwear to demonstrate the ways in which your underwear impact your outfit. It's still Pride Month right now. Hopefully these tips will help you feel more confident at Pride if you choose to go if you are able to go and if you want those festive underwear you could just go ahead and check out the link in my description and use my code to get 
55% off. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and a great week and you take care of yourselves. All right, cool. Bye.